In this video, I'm going to be showing you how quick and easy it is to recover an ABMR product using the Christie Virtual Appliance. We will just be running through the recovery today. That's my Virtual Appliance, Hypervisor, which we will be using as the recovery target in this demo, and backup servers are already set up, so we can get straight into the recovery. You can start a recovery either from the menu by pressing Recover Now, or the Recover Overview by pressing the plus icon up here. The VA also has the option to recover multiple systems at once or schedule a recovery using Simulate and Orchestrate. When starting a recovery, the first thing you'll need to do is select your backup source. And for this demonstration, I'll be using Avamar. The next thing you'll need to do is select your backup server. And finally, your backup client. Once you've selected your backup client, you'll need to enter the username and password attached to the backup client. And once you've done that, you'll need to select your template. The options for the template are virtual machine recovery test, virtual machine recovery, or a physical machine recovery. I won't be using any of those as I'll just be sticking with all the default options. Now, once you've filled all of that out, all you need to do is press next, where you'll be brought along to a target section where you'll need to select your target. Your options for a target will be back to original system, which will put the recovery back over the original system. And if you're going to different physical hardware, a pre-booted ISO is the option you would use. But the option I'll be using for this presentation is a new virtual or cloud system. This will create a new virtual or cloud machine and boot it into the Christie recovery ISO. Once you've selected your target, you'll need to select your hypervisor. And for this demonstration, I'll be using VMware. So once you've selected your hypervisor, all of the hypervisor information settings will come up here, which can all be adjusted. But once again, I won't be doing any of that as I will just be sticking with all the default options throughout this demonstration. So once you've filled all that out and made sure it's all correct, you can press next and go to advanced options. Where all you need to do to configure your advanced options is press this little check up here and you can go through and configure your advanced options as you please. But once again, I won't be configuring my advanced options as we will just be sticking with the defaults. And finally, you'll be brought to the review page where all you need to do is make sure all the information is correct and if any of it isn't, you can go back and change it in one of these tabs up here. So now we know that everything is correct, all you need to do is press save and as you can see, that recovery is now running. The recovery can take up to a few minutes, so I will come back when the recovery is complete. Now, as you can see, we have successfully completed that recovery and that system should be up and running. If you would like a hands-on trial with the software or a more in-depth demo, feel free to contact our sales team at sales at .com, or you can visit our website at www.christy.com. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.